morning, good morning, everybody. I am so excited to be here. Can we turn up the volume on her stories, right? Well, like she said, I am major daughter and I'm excited to be in your midst, really. Uh, what a pleasure, what an honor. I'd like to thank all the organizers. Thank Mommy Gertrude. Thanks a gazillion times for such a wonderful opportunity, really. I don't take it lightly. Now, I want to say something because I speak on uh, families and I want to speak today briefly on um, this particular family, if you have a great dream, it needs a great team. If you're come to manifestation or come to pass, you've got to have a great team surrounding you. The Bible says one of you shall chase a thousand, but two of you shall put 10,000 to flight. So that means we perform better in a team. We do better in a team, but now what kind of a team is this? Uh, I need to elaborate because when we speak of a team, in this case, we are speaking of a family. Now, it must be a family that challenges you it must be a family that provokes you. It must be a family that makes you feel uncomfortable in your, in your current status. It must be a family that makes you feel uncomfortable where you are and challenge you to strive better and move forward and try. Because if you are in a family that doesn't challenge you if you are in a family that doesn't um, put you or, or even provoke you. You can forget about growth. You can kiss uh, growing goodbye. But if you are in a family where you are forever challenged, you see, if you want to grow and see your dreams come to pass, you need to leave the kind of family where we all just belong and we all don't just want to leave one another behind. We must be ready to leave one another behind so that we can later pick each other. And how does that happen? It starts with meetings, like a meeting of this nature, a meeting like this one. I, for one, I am a product of many meetings. I've been made by meetings. Uh, I've been produced by meetings. I attend meetings. There is no meeting I take for granted. And this is where we are. There are meetings we just take for granted. There are meetings we just don't feel like, do I really need to be really not talking to me? This is not about me. This is not for me. Lest you know that um, in meetings like this one, there will be several speakers speaking for several days. There have been speakers speaking but you just need one meeting. In that one meeting, you just need one word. With that one word, it will create just one encounter that will just change your life forever. So you attend meetings because you are looking for something in the meeting. So it doesn't matter how many people are in the meeting. It doesn't matter how many people have attended. It doesn't matter who is speaking. It doesn't matter the, the biography of the speaker. What matters is what you are looking for. Where is that one word? Where is that one encounter for me in this meeting? Why? Our progress and our success and our, our lifting comes in little bits and different kinds of meetings. Sometimes. And one meeting several times. Sometimes you have to keep on going for the same kind of meetings several times until a change comes, until the lifting comes, until you receive that word. As you are here today, 
as you have come, mama has spoken and other people have spoken, but have you found your word? Because you just need that one word. That's what meetings are all about. That's what makes a great team. That's what makes a great family. Now, if you want to be in a family where you are the, you are the only cheerleader, then there's a problem. Because any family you belong to, like I said, it's got to be a family that challenges you. It's got to be a family that makes you feel uncomfortable in your present status, makes you feel uncomfortable where you are. It must be a family that inspires you to grow. So meetings and, uh, and movements like this ones are all about team building. They are all about growth. They are all about manifesting that which God has put in you. But you've got to take meetings seriously. You've got to take families seriously. Every great thing starts small. The Bible says never despise the day of small beginnings because in the smallness, that's where greatness is. Before it is great, it was first small because everything goes through a process. You are in this meeting today. What are you looking for? What is that one word that you're going to live with? What is that one story, one encounter that is just going to change your life? You don't need too many things. You just need one. That one creates an encounter that changes everything. So that's what this is all about. That's what family is all about. And I thought I should start here before I even go deeper. The reason being, we take meetings for granted. And meetings are what, we are products of meetings. The higher people go, the more meetings they should attend, more workshops, more trainings, more courses should be taken. The higher you want to go, the more of these things you should be taking up. Why? Because in those courses, in those trainings, in those workshops, you are looking for that one word, that one encounter. You are looking for that just one chapter that will set you on course. One chapter that will change your story for life. They say, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, you've got to go together. That's family. That's a team. That's what it speaks of. Even if you don't like the idea of company, do you understand? To one, because no man is an island. No man is an island. I need you, you need me. And as long as we take meetings for granted, we can never really attain the success we want. As long as we take meetings for granted, we can never really get to where we are going. As long as we take meetings like these ones, for granted, we can kiss the manifestation goodbye. Why? Because it's all about meetings. Meetings that are family meetings. So here we are. I'm talking from experience. Till tomorrow, I attend meetings. Let me tell you something. I attend even meetings that you can think that, oh man, you don't need to waste your time about this one. I still attend because I know in that meeting, I'm not looking for much. I don't need a lot of things. I just want one, just want one encounter. Somebody may be sharing their testimony. I'm looking that for that one, one word that's going to change it all. <laughs> That's what meetings are all about. That's what family is all about. So I want to encourage everyone who has attended today to tell others to attend. You know why? Because we are products 
of many meetings. It's not one meeting. You've got to attend meetings and keep attending. And I said, there are times when you'll keep, you'll have to attend the same meeting several times until you get that one word. So if you have friends, and I say this because I understand I've got 15 minutes and uh, I love to keep time. <laughs> if you have friends, right? And you tell them about this meeting and they feel like, what's that all about? Leave them, attend the meeting. Forget about that. I don't want to leave anybody behind. No, sometimes you have to leave for them to follow you and catch up with you. Sometimes you have to leave them folks talking there, saying all kinds of things for them to catch up with you if you want a change. Stop believing that you have a potential. Where is it? That potential can be seen and tested in a meeting like this one, where people are given an opportunity <coughs> to manifest. Huh? If you feel like I've got talents, I've got gifts, oh, where are they? Those gifts and those talents, they can be given an opportunity to, be, to, to manifest or to be manifested in a platform like this one. Never take any meeting for granted. Most of the meetings that changed my life, most of the meetings that brought a turning point in my life were meetings that nobody took seriously. I listened to everybody, really. I listened to people that people may not even want to listen to everybody. Why? Whenever someone is talking, it doesn't matter who they are. I'm looking for that word. Do they have a word for me? Is there a word for me? It's what I'm looking for. That word is what will give me an encounter. So I'm even here today because of that one word. So everybody who has come and everybody who is here, be encouraged. We're at the right place. This is the right team. This is the right family, the right movement. Why? Something big is about to explode. Something big is about to be revealed to the world. And thank God you are part of it. Never despise the day of small beginnings. I am major daughter, a product of many meetings.